Everybody say it, Fisher. We up in the swamp. It's Santee. We're going to be throwing around some cypress trees with this bad boy right here. The little old wacky worm. I'm going to take a minute to show you the worm I like to use and how I rig it. Um, for me, I tend to get the best luck with the Berkeley bottom hopper right here. Not a big worm. You know, 6.25 inches long, but I like uh, watermelon red or anything that's got some flake in it, especially when I get on into May. I use something that's got some silver flake because uh, it's got some flash, kind of like a brim. Um, a lot of people rig it differently. Some people put the hook in the worm. I like to use uh, braces, rubber bands. It's 3 16 heavy. And I'll use two bands, put them in the worm right here, right behind the egg sac. Um, as far as weight in the worm, I always put a weight in the head. And what I use is an inch and a quarter finish nail. They cheap, and you can get a bunch of them. No problem. Um, I just kind of push it in the head right here, all the way in. Try to keep the daggum thing straight. Hey, and that's a uh, number two Berkeley Fusion 19 Aberdeen hook. And there's one thing I can tell you, you know, being you got the the weight in the nose of this thing, when you throw it, it's gonna it's gonna sink vertical. It ain't kind of gonna sink like a wacky worm. Uh, you always point your hook away from your weight, cause uh, it's gonna stay. Uh, more weedless that way, especially around these trees. When when that thing hits the bottom, it's gonna be boom, that hook point's gonna be up instead of down. And if it's, if it's down and you pull it, it might hook into into a root or something on that tree. So uh, we're gonna get out here. Hopefully we can catch a few fish. We're gonna go down it. Looks like the water's done fell a darn foot since about two days ago. Uh, but hey, we're gonna get out here and see what we can catch with this bad boy. There's one. Oh, no wacky. Look at that hook right at the top of the right at the top of the lip, right where they're supposed to be hooked. Important, you know, when you come into these pockets and places like this, it's full of trees to make sure you kind of pick the areas that look like a fish may be on the bed. Um, that's, you know, there's tons of trees on Santee. Uh, sometimes you just, I mean, you just got to fish. You know, you'll run across one here and there. And you kind of got to take your time. Kind of pick it apart a little bit. And you, I mean, you never know, the same tree could be on the right side, the left side, on the back, on the front. And they're starting to tell it where he's going to be on that tree. It's a very it's slow, slow technique. Really good on Santee. I don't know what it is about these fish. They just love to eat this little worm. Just flip it up there. Let it go down, pop it one time, see if he's on there. Usually, usually he's gonna hit it on the fall. When you first flip it in there, he's gonna grab it. Prime. But see like back here in the back, it's like makes like a little pocket underneath all them limbs. If you can get it under there.
see we only had a few hours and and the way the weather is and the wind's kind of keeping us fishing the trees that i want to fish but uh you know the main goal today was to make a video to show people how i rig a wacky worm to fish around these cypress trees uh we, we didn't really catch a lot of fish we caught a few uh it's not really happening yet but i think it's gonna break loose in the next week or two it's gonna get really really good on that worm but i appreciate everybody for watching make sure you hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you like the content i'm putting out and hey we'll catch you on the next one